What's going on guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Digimon. This episode, I gotta say, was pretty dang cool. I must say it's awesome, it's cool, I really enjoyed it. We actually had some interesting evolutions uh, in how it happened, but we get to see Don Devimon. Um, at this point, th this is just more of an instinct kind of Digimon, nowhere near what Devimon used to be. Um, I feel bad for Tokomon because it's it's really like they had a relationship, like they were somewhat friends or family of some sort, but it's like it really hit hard for him, and I don't really know why. Maybe I'm just thinking more of it, but it really did seem that way. And we have then uh, where Garurumon and Metal Greymon both going up against and they really stand no chance no attack was really going to cause any kind of damage especially with the mysema i believe that's how it was pronounced mysema uh, hands that he had anything that it would have touched would have really corroded them or began to hurt and we see that there's really no way they can get around um, but taichi realizing that they're about to be in danger he knocks uh, matt out of the way while he gets pretty much direct contact along with metal Greymon, both of them being burned by the mysema and really just going through a lot of pain um, we have matt regrouping with him and trying to figure out what to do but i feel bad for ty at this point like we actually see him being like almost not i don't say uh, useless but like in a way he just kind of like was just hurting most of the episode uh while that's happening with them we actually see what's going on in the real world just a little glimpse just to get, let them know what's happening and we see that the situation isn't necessarily better we actually have a lot of the ships across the world now not just in singapore at this point but around the world crashing into each other and it's all happening simultaneously so really uh, things aren't looking too great for them we see garudamon and mega kaputerimon leading the charge and trying to change the situation uh, but it's looking like they're really being bombarded with all of these digimon around them so hopefully we do get to see them get a proper episode maybe next week or the week after we'll get to see them trying to hopefully clear out that situation and i'd really love for them to go back to the digital world at this point but we have matt ty and tk trying to figure out how to go around this um i really feel bad for matt because he really got one of the biggest l's in his life we actually see Greymon, um excuse me where garurumon and him get picked up not picked up grabbed by don devimon and just not only shock them but then just throw them down like holy crap like that that really hurt to see matt was knocked out for the rest of the like most of the rest of the episode and i just kept thinking you got knocked the fuck out <laughs> like that's exactly what th went through my mind i don't know if you guys even thought about that but i was like holy crap and gabumon I mean, uh, Gomon came back, like, he went back to his, uh, evolution form, and I just felt really bad just seeing that, but this triggered Ty, this really got to him, uh, because of the Mysoma, and because he's, I guess he had that energy radiating, radiating uh, from him, we see that his emotions, his anger, his rage, feeling, I guess, also feeling incompetent, and just wanting to protect his friends, we actually see him going rage mode along with uh, Metal Greymon, which both of them, I'm not saying that this made it a little more even, but with using this ability, or I guess using this rage, they were able to kind of turn the situation around. Uh, Ty actually got eaten, which was honestly a bit of a surprise. We see TK watching everything as it goes down, and we see Metal Greymon losing it. At this point, he is just a whole different beast. In fact, we actually see him going through an evolution of his own almost, kind of looking a lot like Machine Dramon. 
I was kind of thinking that we were going to see Skull Greymon, which I would have really liked because, I don't know, it, it was the right amount of creepy, and that would have been perfect for his character. Uh, but instead we see like this machine drama evolution and I was I was okay with that I really was I was glad to actually see it but it was like a rage form like it wasn't evolved and we actually have that being what helps uh, Metal Greymon or we'll, we'll call him Rage we call him Rage Greymon that's what that that sounds, that sounds better Rage Greymon going up against uh, Don Devimon and it's like now he has more of a chance and uh, because of his anger and his frustrations it actually starts to go everywhere and luckily Gabumon actually woke up right in the nick of time we actually see him saving the whole the rest of the group uh, Matt wakes up as well we see him watching as all this is unfolding and we have uh, Tokomon actually wanting to do something about this we protected the group well, i guess the the guys while uh well pr protected tk mostly protected him when they were going to be attacked and now with the digivice he was actually able to then use the light to kind of evolve to anjamon help out rage greymon and then turn the situation around and luckily we saw a glimpse of freaking metal Gr war greymon finishing off freaking don devimon and honestly, it was just awesome. But now we have more trouble. But guys, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, stay safe and I'll catch you.